this time forever We know that it's real We know that together Our hearts will be filled With love that is simple Love that is honest and true This time forever, whatever's for me and for you. I suppose you've got other plans after the game. Hey, hey, what's that? The frogs are painting the campus. 
case. Right now? What? Let's calm down. Just put your cash. I got nothing to lose. Come on, let's go. bus, it doesn't stop you. Hey, it's okay. Hey, who are you? Hi, Matt Kramer. Oh, yeah, the hockey player from the States. You're an American? Oh, the hockey player, the one who jumped in my lap? Didn't jump, I was pushed. Do you know who they're after? Yeah, the French that painted the gates. What's your name? Gabriel Deno. Pretty. Bet your friends call you Gabby. My friends call me Gabriel. Hey! Matt Kramer. But you can call me Matthew. So, this, uh, this Beaux Arts place, this is basically a, uh, an art school? Beaux Arts. Ah, Beaux Arts. You're majoring in gate painting? Hey, look, if you don't go to U of M, what's worth a paint job? It's not just a school rivalry. It's all over Quebec. It's... It's hard to explain if you haven't lived here. Oh. You have to be French and... Oh, here's my bus. Goodbye. Goodbye? You've been very kind. Goodbye. Good... Wait a second. What's with this goodbye stuff? I feel like this is the farewell scene in Casablanca. What are you doing Friday night? I don't think it's a good idea. Well, can I call you? The neurotic is a victim of inner conflicts, unjustified fears, obsessions, compulsions, sometimes sexual. Now, this inner emotional strife is traditionally acted out with antisocial behavior and a generally self And a generally self-defeating way of life. It's unfortunate that the people who could benefit most from this knowledge are never around to receive it. <laughs> Sorry, sir. I uh, had to pick up this uh, biochem at the bookstore. Really? You went off someplace playing with your puck? <laughs> Some of you jocks exercised your brains as much as your athletic supporters you might get somewhere. And don't let's have you late again, Kramer. Yes, sir. Where you hang out, huh? Mm-hmm. Oh. Uh-huh. 
What's wrong? I think I've got a crooked thumb. <laughs> you want to try? Look at this. Brand new gloves. You know that every time I see you, you are painting some building or something. You know, I haven't stopped thinking about you. You don't really have to walk. Don't you have your own cat? Ah, that's okay. Let me ask you a question. Do you think about me? Is your pre-med very difficult? I'm not in pre-med yet. Come on, I asked you a question. Yes, Matthew, I thought about you. Yeah? It's still not a good idea. Whose idea is that? We have no future. What, what do you mean a future? Why do we have to have a future? You're thinking about old age. I'm just trying to get a date. Why do we play Toronto? Come. You don't even have to sit on our side. Maybe. Maybe means yes? Maybe means, uh, maybe. See you Friday. Goodbye. Like that one? Yeah, looks like Moose and Tony. <laughs> from the States. Oh, another American, eh? It seems that the population of Vietnam goes down, the American population of Canada goes up. If you say so, I wouldn't know. Excuse me, but I'm still, how do you say, um, curious about you Americans. What do you really hope to accomplish in uh, Southeast Asia? I I'm not really up on the subject. That's strange. I thought that uh, we French Canadian were the naive ones. Cool, eh? We are so naive that we forget that for you, Americans, wars are profitable. Hey. You know, that's enough. I, I don't know where you get your information, buddy. But I don't think the last war was that profitable. No. 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 My father fought in Korea and got his head blown off. Is that profitable enough for you? Matthew, I'm sorry. No, you don't understand. My father, he fought for his country and he got killed. And those, those idiots are running off at the mouth like that. I'm sorry. Sorry. I'm sorry my father was killed. I'm sorry for all the people in all the wars that have been killed. But maybe if everyone just stopped going, there wouldn't be any wars. Couldn't we start over? Go. Hey, hey. Is that for you? Yes. Well, he's not coming out? We're in a hurry, Papa. A hurry?
Louise, you talk to that girl. I want to meet these boys. Not here. Where do you want to go? I'm not sure anywhere the way you're acting. What are you worried about? Telling your priest? Tell him what? I don't know. Every time you do something. Gabby! What's the matter? I didn't realize you were so sensitive about the religious thing. You don't even understand. Maybe I don't. What makes you think I have anything to tell? I don't know. I just supposed. That I'm one of those up friends. No, no, I didn't mean that. Forgive me. You know, uh... I don't have too much to tell the priest either. Hey, look, guys. Yes, you get you involved. I'm not going to go tonight. What are you talking about? Five sides are very important for act. Listen, uh, I was supposed to meet Gabrielle tonight. Oh, that's nice. Oh, uh, besides, I got a lot of studying to do. Uh, otherwise, that Saunders is going to kick my butt. You think you got problems? You got problems. Saunders ever finds out old Tone here is banging his favorite. <laughs> He'll probably have the tone institutionalized. <laughs> So you got a little French action going. No, that's nice. Karen and I are getting on pretty good, but uh, you got a plan for the long term, you know? It doesn't last forever. Yeah, yeah. listen to the talk. Fraternities are a great way to score. A great way to score. Parties all the time. Parties all the time. This oh, is the extra. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> no, really, you know, when it comes time to go to med school, they're going to want to know in admissions that uh, you're interested in other things other than just the schoolwork. You, you know? mean developing my bedside manner? Aha, now we're getting somewhere. Right. And what better place to practice the old bedside manner than in bed? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Say, uh, are you guys supposed to be drinking? I heard that Coach Dupre was pretty heavy about that kind. You can have beer. kid with the bulgy eyes, man. Is he a friend of yours? Alan Sweeney. Had a little too much to drink. Let him sleep it off in my room. That's the guy. He just threw up in your aquarium. <sighs> oh, shit. <laughs> Worse than that, man. He thinks he lost his contacts in the bowl. Oh, shit. Look at that. Christ. You know, some guys just can't hold. What like? Yeah. Okay. I had a cousin with contacts. His story was even worse. He was real sick. Diarrhea. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 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 He's not so quite loud as this guy, but there's a good reason for it. You know what? He's got a little French action going aside to keep him very quiet about it. That's right. Well, he doesn't have to say anything. Why's that? You know what the definition of a French-Canadian virgin is? 
a six-year-old girl who can run faster than her father. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. You bastard. You did that on purpose, didn't you? No, come on. Listen, I didn't do it on purpose. If I had wanted to do it on purpose, I probably would have done something more like this. say our fraternity careers are all washed out. <laughs> oh, <kidding. laughs> I hate to break it to you like this, Moose, but if you're cutting a lot of heavy action with the frat scenes, I think you better forget it. Got a couple extra blankets in. It's gonna be a cold one for you. All right. Ice cold. <laughs> Don't look now. I think they just found each other. Matthew? This up, but we haven't met now. Are you Gabrielle? I'm Tony. You're love about me, right? <laughs> uh, no, wait, this is Moose. He's the cute one. I'm a little feminine, girl. You want something to drink? No, no. Feminine. Matthew, I'd like you to meet someone. It's okay, Matthew. Run along. We'll watch your beer when it comes. Yeah. What's the matter with him? I don't know. He'll be all right. Matthew, this is Claude, my brother. You're your brother? Mm -hmm. Claude? Yeah. Pleased to meet you. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Your sister here is a very special person. So, uh, you're an American? Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I go to McGill. I'm sorry, I have to go. I have important business. Ah, and goodbye. <clears throat> I told you there would be complications. Complications? I think the patient just died. <laughs> I don't like Jean-Paul. Maybe it's your choice, but he's not mine. I don't understand what's happening to you. You live in a box. A very dark box, and you can't see anymore. You shouldn't do this. Why? You know why. There's important work to be done. I want to lead my own life. That's exactly the kind of thinking that's kept us where we are. If we don't stick together, you'll never be able to lead your own life. But Matthew is American. Bullshit! Look what they're doing in Vietnam. You're becoming the very thing you claim to fight against. A bigot and a fanatic!
There will be no extra credits for collaborative efforts. As soon as you're finished, you can all go home. Well, Miss Bidecker, what do you think of my little quizzy? God, if that's one of your little quizzies, I'd hate to see one of your big testies. <laughs> you a little lunch at my place. Do you really have time? When is your next class? Long time. Besides, man, can I live by whatever. Matthew. Matthew. I'll be careful. I wonder how many children and marriages you have to do so, Gabby, uh, I can't just go and hold your hand. It's only natural. Be patient. difficult. Yeah, I know. Insisted. Sure. Why not? Hey, don't look so worried. I'm great with families. They'll love me. <laughs> You're going to be a doctor? I hope so. I mean, that's, that's the plan. Eventually. I'm a mechanic. Trucks. You know, actually, uh, a doctor told me once. Um, I, I mean, I was asking him uh, if all that stuff was true, that a, a surgeon having good hands, like you see in the old movies, they always say, uh, doctor, doctor so-and-so has such good hands, right? Anyway, uh, this doctor told me that uh, you could probably take, this is interesting, you could probably take a good mechanic and make him into a surgeon in a week, in a, in a year, in a year. Why should a boy who wants to be a doctor marry my daughter? Uh, I don't know. I mean, uh, sure, why not, huh? Well, we, uh, we haven't talked about it too much, though. Look, I like Gabrielle very much. I have nothing but total respect for her. Claude? I asked you to be on time. It couldn't be helped. I think the drivers are going on strike. Claude. You're very rude. You can say hello to Matthew. Hello. Do you think the mechanics will go out and support? What do we get for our trouble? There's trouble. a more important no principle. You can't eat your principle. If you're still interested, we voted to support the workers. Of course I'm interested. You see, when you've got a good job, 
You don't have to worry about the guy next door who's feeding his kids dog food on Friday. Do shut up. It's easy to keep your family in style when you're a white nigger for the bosses. If you don't mind, uh, I won't be staying for the chocolate mousse. We should go home and take up where we left off. We should go over and keep your friends company. Friends, huh? Yeah. You know Gary? I know he's a draft dodger. Come on, Moose. I think he was a hell of a lot smarter not going. Smarter than who? Look, what is this? Draft dodgers anonymous or what? You did the next of the draft. I wasn't that smart. I went to the uh, big fight. It was a bummer, so uh, I took a rain check. You deserted? That's right. I saw two of my buddies aced over there. I said to myself, Evo, better get yourself out of here before they send you home in a box. Hail the unconquering hero. Come on, just relax, will you, Moose? Where's the beer? I think it's very admirable that you chose to uh, detach yourself. Jesus Christ, Gabby. You turn all the shit into some kind of noble gesture. Look, how about we can this whole conversation, all right? It's getting really boring. It's not so easy not to go or not to fight. This guy copped out on his country. My country, goddammit. He took an oath to defend that country. Oath? Matthew, you sound like a boy scout. That's right. That's right. It's called honor. And that's something you'll never understand. It's Claude. There's been trouble. He's hurt. It's a trucker strike. He and some of the others went out to support a demonstration and, and Claude met a gasoline bomb. Oh, God. He's badly burnt, Matthew. Where is he? I know exactly where he is. Okay, okay, I'll get Moose's car right now. Set up a roadblock. What do we do? I have an idea. Hey, hey, hey! Wait a moment! Wait a minute! Stay back! 
back. Where do you think you're going? Stay back. Nobody through there. I gotta get through. My fiance's in there. What's she doing in there? She lives there. Look, there's nothing I can do about that. Just... Hey, what's going on here? This guy wants to go in to get his girl. Claims she lives there. Officer, she's my fiance. Now, what do you mean, claims? Just take it easy. Take it easy. Those son of a bitches threw a bomb in front of her house. Officer? You'd feel different if it was your own daughter in there. Open your trunk. What's in the bag? My hockey stuff. Whatever you do, Claude, don't say a word. Quite a girl you've got there. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. Tell them, uh, 
we, we tell him that, uh, that, he, that he was trying to fix his car and uh, his cigarette ignited some gas. Gabriel told me the risk you took. Just two rocks. I was trying to impress her. Thank you. I'll be waiting for you inside. Ford, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you. It's gonna be two weeks without you. I'm with you. Hey, listen, listen. You know, maybe, maybe at Easter break, uh, you can come with me. You know, visit my family. They like my mom. She's a good cook. And my grandfather's a super guy. I gotta go. I'm okay. I love you. I love you. Nineteen years old. Well, poor boy. Poor old Steve. Nineteen years old, and it's all over. For heaven's sakes, this is ridiculous. Vietnam, anyway. He's a good friend. Yeah. They do all that when Dad died. Mm-hmm. And they gave you his flag? Mm-hmm. Where is it? It's safe. Were you proud? You're in school. I just don't think I could face that anxiety again. Seems I was only a couple of months ago I was taking these things down. Mm, I know what you mean. No, you don't. No, it's a matter of age. Not that I need to be reminded. Bart? Mm-hmm. How did you feel when Dad died? Oh, that's a dumb question, I guess. No, no, it's not dumb. Uh, hell of a shock. Grief. My son. I loved him. And, uh... Pride. Yeah. Your father died the way he lived, like a man. Yeah. Yeah, but he didn't want to get killed. Matt, what's troubling you? I don't know. I like my life. And the thought of just, just throwing it away for some phony ideal. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, Matt. There's nothing phony about an ideal. Nothing wrong with loving your country. More than you do life? Well, yes, damn it, yes. 
more than you do life. It just doesn't seem fair. Life never seems fair. Let's see how this thing works now, huh? You all set? Yeah. All right, stand back. Hey. Any more grass salad? Oh, Bart, thank you. Now, don't give me anything more. <laughs> I mean, what is this? Okay, I'll try it. A stethoscope. Like it? Oh, oh this is great. We won't have Look to do this. It works, too. It's a yeah. medical school. Oh, look at this. Looks good uh, on you. Ow. Gee. Don't <laughs> <laughs> listen to me, Mom. All right. Hello? 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 Yes. Hello. Yes, this is Dr. Kramer. Who is this? Yes, Dr. Kramer. How are you doing? You're going to be all right. Oh, thank you. Have, have a little medicine ball. Thank you. There you go. Oh, here. Marty, Marty. 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 Oh, thank you for the tie. Merry Christmas. Oh, thank you, oh, thank you. Thank you Merry Christmas. God, darling. Isn't anybody oh. hungry? Uh. Oh, he's great. Yeah? Well, uh, it's a girl. <laughs> no, not a girl. Not here, have a little love potion. That'll sell you right Last now. Christmas love Eve potion. in the harem, when all the... Uh, oh, Bart. <laughs> Uh, by the waters of Gitche, go me home with it. No, the night before Christmas when all's in the house. I'm glad you like it. Yes. Oh, yeah. Here. Oh, this is great. Oh, I love it. I miss you so much. Oh, me too. Me too. I'm crazy without you. It's awful not to be with you. Listen, listen, I'm coming back. We'll spend New Year's Eve together. I'll be waiting for you in your flat. I love you. I love you too. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Kathy, oh, this is unbelievable. What have you done here? too much. Gabby, I love it. I love it. I want to give you something of myself. Oh, I missed you. I miss you. It's beautiful. It's Moonstone. I meant it as, as kind of an engagement ring. Oh, yes, Matthew.
on a midterm. How could you do this to yourself? To the team? To me? It's my fault, Coach. Come on, Luce. It was only a couple of answers I took from him. But what about tomorrow night, the LW Cup? Yeah, what about it? Can we play? Are you offering to present the trophy to the U of M? Well, you just did in Psych 181. It's effective immediately. And we all gotta repeat the course. Bastard. He's doing all this because I'm what the chick he's got the hots for. You know that, don't you? Check in your equipment. God, it's snowing. Kill it! Hey, look at this, guys. Snow Sculpture Awards by Dr. Norman Saunders. Mm -hmm. I'd like to give Saunders an award. I like to sculpt his ass. Maybe we should freeze him a block of ice with a napkin does or something, eh? We gotta do something. You're darn right, we gotta do something. I mean, he wiped out the whole first team in one fell swoop. <laughs> Whoa! No, <the> <laughs> <laughs> figured out a way that we can show our appreciation to Dr. Saunders. Yeah? Yeah. Believe me, it was no easy job for the awards committee to make their final selections. All of the entries, the sculptures, were so particularly outstanding this year, including, as usual, the Hi. engineer's Hi. tribute Have you seen to the female... Tony Pumpkin told me they'd meet us here. Overall craftsmanship of each entry... In Jeez, there's a lot of snow. You think they'll kill him? Well, I'm just gonna take some stuff. Don't get down there. Just get from here. I know. Okay, okay, we'll watch. Okay. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Okay. You gotta get a circus at the bottom. Okay, why don't you guys walk? Okay. 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 Ok
just got to make it out with the biology teacher. Yeah. <laughs> what happened to her? Well, what happened to her? She was loving it. It was her husband. He was the coach. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Something new. <laughs> no. No, I, I'm thinking I'm gonna go to the States and join up. For what? For what? American Army. You serious? Yeah, I'm serious. Spend a couple of years in the army? Maybe go to NAM? Shh. <coughs> You're out of your mind. Tommy's crazy. What are you mad? Holy shit. Wait a second now. I forgot all about it. I'm gonna be drafted. I gotta go to the army. Great. Hey, we'll all go together. We'll have the first team again, huh? Yeah, great. I'm gonna be going to the army. Sit down. I can't. I can't. I gotta go to the army. You gentlemen will have to go. That's what I said. I gotta go. <laughs> Did you call for a plumber? Kramer family, third in the generation of fighting men. Pat, don't be crazy. Do you know what you're saying? Yeah, yeah. I'll show those gooks what a man with balls can do. What will you do with your balls when you're dead? That won't happen to me. Matthew, I'm so afraid. God, I made a mess out of everything. I made a mess. Everything was so beautiful before. We had everything going for us. Why did I have to ruin it? It was a mistake. You didn't mean it. You're everything in my life. You're everything. I don't want to leave you.
open. Hey! Bart! Hi! What are you doing here? Well, waiting to be invited in. Oh, yeah, come on in, come on in. Uh, Gee, I, I wish you would have told me that you were coming up. Yeah, it, you mind if I use your... Uh... Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh -huh. Great surprise. So, uh, what brings you up here? Uh, that's what I came to find out. Yeah, oh, sit down, sit down. Thank you, thank you. Hey, I, I told you everything on the phone. Well, you said you'd been kicked out of school, but, uh, sounded like you had some other things on your mind. Your mother got kind of worried, so I decided to fly up, check things out. Uh, Matt. If this is none of my business, just say the word, and I'll be going right back home. No, no, it's just that, well, things are in a mess right now, kind of. Yeah, I gathered that. But uh, getting kicked out of school, it's not the end of the world. Or is it? You, you know that I'm, I'm subject to the draft, don't you? So? I've pretty well decided. I'm not gonna go. Pretty well decided. Is that final, or you want to talk about it? No, no, I've decided. Matt, you can't turn your back on your country. Bart, Bart, we've been over these grounds before. I know that. You've told me how you felt yeah, about yeah. fighting and dying for your country. Listen. Our country. Okay. Our okay. country. Our country. Now, let me now I respected your feelings. Matt, please. Listen! Now I'm asking you to respect mine. Bart, put yourself in my place. If you had the choice to go or stay, what would you do? I'd go! I wouldn't give myself a choice! Oh, Matt. <laughs> I don't know. They changed the rules of the game. I'm, uh, I don't know anything about today's kind of a war, Matt. I'm going back to the airport. What do you mean you just got here? I just came to see you. I thought maybe, uh... you might go back home with me. Kramer, please. Bart, I wish you didn't have to go right now. Would it make any difference if I stayed? Immigration? This way, sir. Yes, thank you. Well? Tell, uh, tell Mom that I, I love her. And, uh... I'm sorry this had to happen. Especially between me and you. No, uh... No, Matt, I don't agree with you. I think you're wrong. But that's got nothing to do with you and me. It doesn't matter what you do, right or wrong, I'm with you. We're a family. No matter what you do, you're my grandson. I'm your grandpa. I love you. Gramps. Take care, okay? Yes, sir. American citizen? Uh, yes. American.
Draft counseling? Have a seat, pal. I'll go to be back for lunch anytime. How's it going, man? Good. <clears throat> Problem is, my old lady's in Buffalo. So why don't you locate down by the border? She can visit you. Where? Fort Erie? What am I gonna do there? Wash dishes in a Chinese restaurant? Besides, her folks are pissed at me for jumping the country. That's the whole sweat, man. You can't go back. Listen, stay away from the borders. Huh? Hey, yeah. You hear about those guys in, uh, in Vancouver, wherever the fuck it was? What's that? The Mounties grabbed these two guys and marched them right down to the border. And these two FBI cats are waiting. Just took the guys right away. That's illegal. That's seven big ones in the slammer. I thought they couldn't do that. <laughs> right, you congressman. Hey, we got a full house. Who's up next? Uh, we're together. I don't know. It's a bitch, man. Your own people hate you. Canadians ain't no fucking better. They don't even want to give you working papers. How are you supposed to survive? Hard times. Mrs. Kramer? Yes. Congratulations, Mrs. Kramer. Your test was positive. Thank you. Great to hear your voice. How are you, Matthew? Oh, I'm pretty rotten, you know. I need you. Oh, me too. Everything is just empty. I miss you so much. I miss you too. Look, look, boot camp is almost over. I can come up. I'm coming up on Wednesday. Meet me at the airport. Gabby, are you there? Yes. Look, um. 
When I get back, could we get married? Will you marry me? Yes, Matthew. I love you. I love you so much. You'll have to arrange everything. Of course. Good night, my love. Good night. Matt, uh, aren't you wearing your civvies? For all the money I put in tailoring for this thing, she is going to see me in at least once. Yeah, Romeo. All right, shut up. Knock it off. So give us a break. I got some real bad news. All these are canceled. What the hell? Are you kidding? I have been at it for 12 weeks. This is a lot of bull, man. I'm going over the wall. Cut it. You man will be on a troop transport at 1,700 hours. You're going to NAM, guys. All right, men, that's it. Buses are loading for the airstrip in 15 minutes. Beyond them in full combat gear. Sir, I'd like to keep expecting you. My mother's driving 100 miles to the airport. I'd see my old lady. All of your next of kin will be notified. Sorry, sir, I gotta reach my fiance. We're, we're supposed to get married tomorrow. Sorry, son. The Marine Corps can't notify everybody. Send her a postcard. Get through. He phoned Mama, and he hasn't called. Let's go home. George, está sim, what the hell difference does it make? The doctor is not coming. It was never coming. Hey, I told you. You stay with your own kind. George! Who pays for weddings that nobody comes to? Come up, pay for it. Food, flowers, please. Still have to have a piece. Our friends come tomorrow. Who tells them, eh? Who tells them? But you're crazy. Stop it. Stop it. You tell them. You tell them. My Gabrielle was deserted by a doctor.
going to Vietnam. He wasn't able to go. You see, he would have come. Maybe just as well. When he comes back, then you'll be married. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I have Matthew's baby in my body. Oh, my God. There is Matthew. It is very late and I am in bed. It is the worst time of the day for me, knowing that if things had been different, you would be lying here beside me. Forget my complaining, but my only thoughts are of you and how much I miss and need you. Please be safe. My kisses and love are with this letter. Please, hold me close to you tonight. All my love. Dear, dear Gabrielle, already the days are like an endless nothing. The only light in the darkness is your letters. I can't tell you how much they sustain me. Sometimes at night, I lay in the tent, inhaling the fragrance of your touch on the paper. It's like an oxygen I need to survive. It's like being with you, having you next to me. Dearest love, please, please don't ever stop loving me. She's pregnant. <laughs> Gabriel, 
okay. I'm sorry. We'll take care of you. You'll have his baby. You'll have his baby. The baby will live on for him. See now. You're terrible, Papa. You won't eat his dinner. You know. Oh, thank you. Your grandfather spoiled you. But dear Bon Bon. Oui. Oui. Mama. Mathieu's father was dead. Yes. It was only his mother and grandfather. You know, sometimes I think that if Claude had died and had a son that I had never known or seen, I would feel very bad. I know. Sometimes I feel very sad that they have never had the joy of knowing Matthew's son. Oh, hi, Hal. Look at you. You been making mud pies? No, I'm trying to get those rose beds in shape. Anything exciting? No, I guess not. I guess Marnie's decided never to write, huh? Not so far. Nothing but bills, bills, bills. Oh, we got an interesting call before. Oh? A girl Matt used to go with in Montreal phoned. Yeah. Said she's going to be passing through tomorrow. Wondered if we mind if she stopped by. Just to no. say hello. Yeah. Hello, Mrs. Kramer. Hello, Helen Kramer. Come on in. My goodness, what do we have here? Bonjour, Madame Kramer. Oh, my goodness. Well, just a moment, please. Isn't he down at Come on up. Oh, well, isn't this fun? Would you like a cookie? I have some cheese. Oh, don't go to any trouble. No, it's not trouble at all. We're delighted. Would you like to take yeah. your coat off, huh? Oh, what a beautiful boy. Bart. This is Gabrielle Deno. Deno, uh, Matt's grandfather, Mr. Kramer. Hello, How Mr. Do you do? Kramer. Nice of you to come. Uh, may I uh, help you yeah. with this? Okay. Hey there, cowboy. <laughs> oh, you're a cowboy, huh? Hey, you, did, you didn't shave yet today, did you? Hmm? Oh, it's been a long time since you had a little boy in our house. Oh, well, well what would he like? We have everything. Um, oh, no, thank you. Know, you. We've here. just eaten. Oh, all right. Well. You uh, knew my grandson in Montreal, huh? Sugar? How long did you know him? Oh, not very long, but Matthew. Pardon? Oh, what did you say? Matthew. Oh, 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 Matthew. Matthew. Yes, it's your grandson, Matthew. Mama? I knew it. I knew it. I knew it the minute I opened that door. You're a beautiful child. Oh, you're a beautiful child. Why did you wait so long to tell us? I was only five months pregnant when I got the word of Matthew's death. No. I 
think we all better sit down here. I guess he felt he'd rather you would think he was dead than...
first time forever Know that it's real Know that together Our hearts will be filled With love that is simple Love that is honest and true time forever whoever's for me and for you 